All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B, Bold RC, coming to you guys again with yet another video. If you guys saw my other video that I dropped, y'all know I got these in a little bit early directly from Nike. And I just wanted to drop a quick review on you guys, let you know my thoughts, some tips on them if you are going to go cop them when they drop. And like I said, my overall thoughts on this brand new Nike mile. Now it is the Air. Vapor Max Plus mixing the Air Max Plus with the Vapor Max and you get this shoe right here. Now I caught mine directly from Nike sneakers and I think I got them on January 16th and that is when they went ahead and put out the blog post about Air Max Day and a lot of different Air Max models like the Air Max 93, the Menthol 180s, the 97 Vapor Max mix and there was a couple different colorways of these right here that they were talking about and there was a link to actually purchase these early if you read through the article. Now like I said before this is a mixture of the Air Max Plus sometimes I just call them the two airs and the vapor max now these will retail at 190 just like the flying it vapor max pair and one thing i will say that i like about these more than the original flying it is that they have a lot more structure just because of the cage and the actual makeup of the shoe and there is a midsole on the shoe but we're going to get into some of the deeper details in a second first off i want to talk sizing now i got mine in my true size a size 12 and i think your best option is going to be to go a half size up and the reason I'm saying that because this material on the upper I think they call it a moldable mesh it almost feels like a neoprene on the upper is gonna look the best when it's sitting just like this on the toe and when your toes are bunched up they don't look as good so I think going a half size up is gonna give you that little bit more extra room make them a bit more comfortable and make them look better on your feet when you're wearing them so let's go ahead and switch over to a better closer up angle on the shoes just so I can go over some of the smaller details with you guys and just give you guys a good look at what you might be buying when they drop on the 25th. Luckily, I was able to grab these ones early, but let's go ahead, let's switch it up. All right, y'all, so here is a good look at the Air Vapor Max Plus. Now, the main thing I wanna say, these are gonna be very, very, very comfortable on the feet. First off, of course, is the all over bottom, the Vapor Max sole. Now, one thing I was mentioning before is that this Vapor Max sole does not sit right underneath your foot. There is actually a midsole built in on this shoe. So if you didn't like that more so a flat, really close to the ground feeling of the original Flying at Vapor Max, it's a little bit different here with the midsole on the upper. Now, once we move up higher on the shoe, you guys can see more of the Air Max plus upper up here and what i really like is this moldable mesh is what they call it online but it really really feels like a neoprene on the upper of the shoe and all these little silver pieces that you see in are 3m so they will light up when light hits them now the cage is right here it's like a plastic cage very reminiscent of once again the actual air max plus and these do give you some more lockdown and some more stability than once again the flanet vapor max if you didn't like that free form flanet feel little nike suit in the back one of my favorite things is the vm air on the back for vapor max air and then on the inside you have a lot of those same details and this shoe is very very comfortable from the time i've had walking around in it on the top it does say air vapor max plus on the tongue and this whole upper this neoprene moldable mesh where they call it super soft super plush and the detailing is really nice all around the shoe for me this one is a definite go a really good model coming from nike and like i said man i will be looking at grabbing some more colorways now do i like this shoe more than the vapor max or the original flying it there's some things i like and some things i don't like as much the first thing i would say i like on the original flying it pair over these is definitely going to be the fit and i might as well grab a pair of vapor maxes of the original flying it ones while i'm right here talking so one second so just for comparison original flying it vapor max versus the tuned air or air max plus pair once again i like the fit on this pair a little bit better because they run true to size and they break in very quickly for these ones you definitely want to go up a half size for it to have the best look on your foot now where i will take this one over this one is that they do bring you a little bit higher off the ground they do have a little bit more stability for those who didn't like that really low to the ground runner racer feel of these these give you a lot more support and if you're flat footed you won't have as much of a problem in these as you would in this pair right here other than that i kind of rate them about the same i love both of these 
these shoes. I think they're both really strong Nike models and I'm definitely looking to get more pairs in the future. I already have about, I guess, three or four pairs of VaporMaxes and now that we have this new VaporMax Plus, don't be surprised if you see more pairs of these on the channel. So when it comes down to Flyknit versus the Plus version, is whether you want that lower to the ground racer Flyknit kind of feel or do you want that more stable, more structured, more rugged pair on the tuned air joint so that is it for the quick close-up look let's go ahead switch the camera angles back y'all let me know original flying version or the new plus version honestly i can't make a decision so let's go ahead and switch it back and that is a wrap for this review overall bro i really 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 like this model and once again i said this on my other video i'm pretty salty that the women out there small feet gang get one of the best colorways in these definitely go a half size up it's a good looking shoe a good ride and for those people who embrace vapor max i really like the vapor max tooling we're gonna see this on a lot more models i'm really interested to see how these look on a 95 because i've seen the 95 with the vapor max sole which kind of look pretty long in the toe as well as the air max 97 with the vapor max so i think the 97 is going to look a little bit better than the 95. they are definitely treating this vapor max soul kind of like boost adidas had boost and they start putting on a lot of different models and nike is pretty much doing the same and we're going to see a lot of frankenstein releases dropping from them so listen man that is it much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys can follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud snapchat the snapchat is bull.cv by the way here there blasey blah of course bullet rc and i will see y'all in the next video that is it air vapor max plus y'all let me know down below and whenever they become available i will drop links down below if you want them because i don't i don't think they're gonna sell out we'll see though y'all be easy i'm out peace Let's go. Let's go. I got with Primo. I'm just pressing the cheat code. We on a new level with the C notes. I'm from where kids hustle on a block and roll C low. And niggas stay strapped like G Bows. T nice with me week to week though. Life was different when they got him for that Rico. For a couple kilos. Could I had him underground. He was living life in ego. Now we getting right in our pockets looking Chicho. Sipping cappuccino on a jet to camp. <laughs> Homie with the racks up I you little nigga put a stack up running hot You know how I do when I slide through I don't got no slack for you I ain't going back I can't get down on these hoes no more Cause they always wanna roll up my throat Bitch if you knew where I'm from We got clips in the pump and got dicks in the boat Couple models getting lit, they the best their friends got Leonardo though, catch me if you can We had to kill Beijing and next Japan, man This be hot, I could catch a tan My demographic in LA, all Mexican I love my supporters, they keep the check in hand So every time I get a chance, I'ma bless the fam What up, 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 for the Tims, if you're watching this video two weeks later, then this has nothing to do with anything you're watching. Just letting y'all know, I'm just waiting for people to actually respond to me. I'm trying to get all the winners down before I announce them on my Instagram. That's where I'll be announcing them at. I kind of updated you guys earlier this week um, through my IG story. As you guys can see, I am back in the studio. I am back home no longer in LA. 
Just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. I'm just waiting. You guys will be so surprised at how hard it is to give away free shoes. You'll literally go through a whole bunch of people before anyone actually responds. And being that I have 10 pairs to give away, that's 10 times the people that don't respond and 10 times the people that I have to wait to respond. So I just want to have them all done out of the way, have 10 solid winners, and then post it up so it's not any confusion. All right, that's all that's going on. Y'all be easy. I'm out of here. Peace. I created a dream world Slept with my dream girl Brought mama that new house Diamonds and mean pearls Don't went to Africa Talk to the have-nots Donated some uniforms Teach them how to have guac Primo put the soul in it I make the track high